friends welcome to my channel homeschool fun last time we saw the birthday cake of the theme of this book diary of a wimpy kid so this video is about making that cake we'll make that cake today this book cake yeah so let's do it first i'm gonna take butter uh, right now i'm taking unsalted butter so i'm making around two kilos of cake it must be more than that but i cannot measure it completely so it's around two plus around 300 grams of cake so i'm taking four parts i usually make half kgs of cake so i know the measurement so i'm taking four parts of that half kilo so i am taking around uh, 300 grams of butter four half cups of sugar powdered sugar and then i am whisking it mix it nicely and then i am adding vanilla essence and chocolate essence i mix two of them so that tastes very nice so i mix them and i always add the flavor in the liquid batter so now i do not use eggs so i am adding little of dahi the yogurt and i add milk mixture of both for the chunks i am adding chocolate chips shavings of chocolate chips so that it will melt and it will taste good then i am adding around half cup of brown sugar this i am adding last because it will not get melt easily so first whisk the other things and then add the chocolate chips and i added quarter cup of cocoa powder and mix all them nicely whisk it and whisk it then add flour our self raising flour is not there so i'm adding the maida the flour refined flour and for the self raising flour i'll add corn flour so i added 500 grams of four full cups of maida flour and half cup of corn flour so it will become the self raising flour then i'm adding four tablespoon of baking powder and quarter spoon of baking soda four of that and four of this and mix it sieve it very nicely around 3 to 4 times i did it so that it can give you a good aeration in the batter so it's a must you do it 3 or 4 times so that you can get a nice raised cake now grease the dish or the baking tray in which we are going to bake i am greasing it nicely and completely with oil and then dust it dust it very nicely so that no part remains again now whisk it one more time and then i will add melted chocolate this are uh, melted around 200 grams of chocolate and i am adding in this for our nice chocolate mixtured cake so whisk it properly with the batter and for the liquid consistency i am adding warm milk and yogurt both in the equal proportions i add so that we can get a liquid consistency that is desired whisk it very nicely and then with the cut and fold method you always have to turn or cut out the batter whisk it properly now we will add the dry mix or vice versa you can add dry mix to the liquid mix or mix liquid with the dry so i am going to add liquid turn by turn in this and make the mixture as desired and meanwhile do not forget to preheat the oven so keep on mixing it till the whole mixture gets nice and smooth but keep on adding little by little keep that in mind otherwise everything will blow up and make a big mess so keep on adding little by little and as i say cut and fold method to turn it or mix it it will take a lot of time because it's a huge 
lot of cake so to add the desired consistency as again i said curd and milk in equal proportions now this is the consistency the perfect consistency that we required for the cake dropping consistency like this now it's time to move it down in the baking tray so let's put it out in this it should drop like this and then just level it up there's a one mistake i have made because this was a huge amount of cake i have never made before i have completely filled the tray for around quarter of it but you need to do it only fill it to half of it so that it bakes and blows up to the full of it so i have see you can see it i have done it filled it up quarter of it but you keep in mind to fill only half to the baking tray and then it goes in the oven for around 40 minutes and it's i have cooled it up and then now i am going to cut it to the measurement that i require for making the book cake so i am trying to make it a rectangular book so i am cutting out the extra edges that is around the so to make it more finished and have a clean edge so i'm cutting out from all the four sides all the edges i have removed from the oven and then i have cooled it for around 2 hours and then i have unmolded it so do not forget to cool it for a time and then i am going to take the help of a scale so that we can get a clean and clear edge and then cut it out from all the four sides right and then it's time to and just flip it flip it so this is a huge cake so i'm taking help of a big plate then i'm going to do like this this is the front side of it and then it shall come on the like voila here it's done i have turned it up turned it up upside down to the smooth level and then here it's ready done a perfect finished clean and cut cake and see quite smooth and nice then i cooled it for around 5 7 hours and then it's the time to do the decoration so now i have taken fondant and you have to work it out on the long or a platform so i have dusted the platform with the corn flour and then you need to measure your sides and then work out the fondant so i have made rectangular shapes and this is a samosa patti cutter or a, a make kind of a design maker so i have made a little of the design over it and then cut out the fondant in that required measurement and then put it out on the sides this is i'm making the sides of the book so i am using this white fondant to make the cover the sides like this you can apply water and it will stick easily you can just on the edges you can apply a pinch of water and do not forget to make moist the cake now for the blue fondant on the top part of it so i have taken the ready made blue fondant and i am going to put it over it so for um you need to add corn flour on the floor on the base of your fondant otherwise it will stick so and then cut it out as the desired or the required amount or the measurement that you need to cover the cake so for that scale is the best way you can measure it you need a glass uh, rolling pin but i do not have so i'm using a normal rolling pin to make and use it for my cake now do not forget to grease your bottom of the fondant otherwise it will stick to the base like this it will stick so it's not greasing but it is powdering so put ample amount of powder on the base so that you can make it and remove work it out nicely for color i need the side ones so i need more color to the side ones so i am adding 
blue color uh, blue essence to make it bright so i have rolled it out and measure it measure it and then add it on the sides to make the book for the corners also i am making stripes of the blue fondant and adding it on that the blue color is quite dark so it's got stuck on your finger so please do wear gloves i have not worn it so it all the colors come on stuck on my fingers and i'm giving some extra marks on the edges like this see uh, these marks i've made it with that marker and now uh, for the letters i have traced it out the letters on a paper put it over a fondant rolled out fondant and then cut it out with the knife what i have done all of them like this for the of a birthday cake so i wrote down on a paper like this and then cut it out with a knife see like this and for the kid i traced out that impression with a chocolate cone and i have used glaze i took normal glaze added red color to this to make a little pink font uh, glaze so i wrote diary with a yellow glaze and i'm writing out of a birthday kid with the pink glaze like this it will come out the glaze is a very fun to write with i I just added color and made a small cone myself and wrote it and now I'm uh, drawing the kid with chocolate. Yes, I melted down the chocolate and filled up a cone with it and then I am drawing it out and tracing it out. Just looking and tracing it out the boy like this. So I hope you liked it. Like my effort of making this book cake. Do make it. Do try it out for a theme cake. If your kid is also a book lover like mine, and this is done, I made it. It's just that I made a huge big cake, so a little of mistakes are there. But I, you do try out and learn out from my mistakes, and do let me know how you liked it. So see you next week. Thank you for watching my video. Take do care. give me a like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.